Hi Sagittarius, I hope you're all well. This is going to be a general love reading for mid-September to the end of September 2021. And it's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it is general as always, so it's not everybody's situation. Of course, you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. And the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. So let's see what's going on with Sagittarius, second half of September. What is the overall energy, please? All right, and we have caring connections. All right, okay, so there's a connection here where I feel like the feelings are mutual. You both care a lot about each other, and this is possibly beginning to... Um, to come more into play. Let's see. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Second half of September 2021. Alright, so for the situation, we have the Four of Wands. Alright, crossed by the Eight of Swords. Recent past, the Ace of Wands, the near future, the King of Swords, your energy, we have the Six of Pentacles, their energy, we have the King of Wands, for you, we also have the Three of Cups, for them, the Empress, and potential outcome here is the Four of Swords. All right, Sagittarius. I feel like there is an issue with, um, or what it is that you are struggling with here, second half part of this month, is really facing some kind of fears, all right? This could be your, this could be your person, when it comes to a particular commitment, all right? There's, somebody is overanalyzing things, and this could be affecting the stability um, for your connection. I feel like... It feels like the foundation is there, like there is something very strong between the two of you. Obviously, we have caring connections. There is a lot of love that you both have for each other. And again, it feels like the foundation is there, but there is some kind of fear or just somebody overanalyzing things, um, thinking that things are more difficult than they actually are is the way this is coming through. This is a connection where there's been a lot of passion in the in the past. I feel like there may have been there may have been a separation and then there was a coming back together recently in, in some way. Um, but yeah, right now it's this eight of swords that seems to be the problem. Um, you you have the six of pentacles and the three of cups. I feel like you're trying to either give assistance to the other person in some way or you're you're giving a lot of energy to this because you you want things to work out you want there to be a reconnection you want things to go back to being pleasurable to being light-hearted i feel like it, that's the thing it feels like everything is like so positive other than this eight of swords <laughs> like that's really like the only issue here um, you might be dealing with um, another fire sign showing up. Air sign is also showing up. This person has a lot of um, a lot of passion for you, and I feel like this is somebody who wants to work together with you in order to overcome the challenges. I feel like this is somebody who does have what it takes in order to take some action for this and bring this stability. We'll see, we'll see. I Because we have two kings here, so I'm getting, I'm picking up on like mature energy. Like I feel like, and that's why I'm saying, I feel like this is a connection that has, that probably has a long past um, where a lot of things have happened and it's reaching this level of being mature or if this is a newer um, connection for you, I do see that this there is some sense of this connection being being mature, whatever that means. 
definitely some determinism that is coming up here and a lot of healing for the for the potential outcome. So let's clarify. Let's see this Four of Wands with the Eight of Swords. So we have the Page of Cups, the King of Wands showing up again, and the Nine of Pentacles. All right, so with the King of Wands showing up here, I feel like this is most likely going to be your person. Again, the roles can be reversed or just the main situation can be reversed, okay? It could be you, but I'm seeing this as being your person who is the one overanalyzing things or possibly when it comes even to another commitment, all right? Because we have the Nine of Pentacles showing up, which is showing me that this is somebody who possibly has a fear of um, releasing something else and being completely independent of another situation, all right, especially when we have um, this card here. It's, I know it's the Page of Cups, but the way it, it has three, three people here, it does remind me a little bit of a third party situation. It doesn't have to be, but it could be um, a specific message for some of you if that's your situation. Um, so it could be that there's a fear of releasing um, this other commitment or that there is just fear surrounding another commitment. And then for others of you, it could be that this person has a fear of actually um, losing their independence. And so therefore, kind of holding back, kind of holding back their emotions a little bit here. Or for some of them not wanting to face them. So I know I'm talking about maturity here and then this seems a little bit immature, but that's what this page of cups is here. Um, it's coming in as, you know, like that, that step before becoming the king, really. Um, like having those feelings, wanting to express those feelings, but really being on the verge of, all right, stepping it up. Being, being more um, independent of something else or not being afraid of commitment for some of them, okay? So it could be either or. I do feel like this is somebody who has showed their emotions to you. This is not somebody who is actually hiding them completely. You have felt this person's emotions. But there's a fear. There could be a fear for some of them of the actual emotions. But I'm mostly getting that there's an overanalyzing of a situation here that would um, require them to be more, more self-reliant. So let's actually clarify the Six of Pentacles, which is in your energy. Ten of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Two of Swords. So you're giving a lot um, to this connection. Again, I feel like you have been giving, 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 because you want this commitment. And I feel like you, like for you, it's like you've been stable. You've been stable, and I feel like you've always had that door open for this commitment to, to finalize. Um, I feel like you're beginning to kind of doubt that. I feel like you're, you're beginning to doubt whether you've been giving too much or whether you should be giving so much or if there's anything else that you can even give. Or if this, whatever it is that you're giving, if that's even helping the situation at all. Let's see what's going on with them. Let's see this King of Wands. The Six of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. So this person is also having this nostalgia for how things used to be because like I said, I feel like there was a point where things just felt more passionate, things felt more connected. Um, that connection is still there, but it's this, something's happening 
that is creating this fear, this overanalyzing, as I said. So this person is also thinking about you a lot. If there is some kind of a separation at the moment, there's a lot of nostalgia for you. Again, it's coming, it's coming in as this person wanting to um, release a burden here, release some kind of, it's even coming in as, as a stress. And again, I feel like it could be somebody else that is involved here. I write another commitment. Let me see this Empress, which is also in their energy. So I feel like, again, it feels like this person has what it takes. But it's almost like, I feel like this person is just kind of thinking about how things used to be um, with you having nostalgia for the past. Um, and it's like that is taking over, like they just keep thinking about that. When actually it's some action that is also required here, as well as releasing that fear. I feel like as soon as they release this fear, that burden is going to be lifted. A weight is going to be lifted from them. And again, they do have what it takes. It's just a matter of actually um, going through with it by not overanalyzing it so much. Analyzing the outcomes here. So clarifying the Empress, we have the Sun and we have the Ace of Swords. Again, I feel like this is somebody where the two of you like actually feel like you can create so much together. It's like this person feels like they can really have this happiness with you. Like this is something that they know. Again, it feels like whatever it is that is happening here, it's, it's, um, it's something that's not as big of a deal anymore. Maybe it was in the past. It feels like it's not that big of a deal anymore, but they they just need to get out of their head about it. Whatever it is here that's going on between the two of you. Like I said, for a lot of them, I do feel like there is um, another commitment involved. Doesn't have to be. For some of them, it could even be a mother figure. If it's not a if it's not a partner. See this King of Swords, or what is coming up? All right, and we have the Queen of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and Three of Swords. So a lot of swords showing up. Some of you might be dealing with an air sign. Um, person has a family. I feel like it's like almost the whole family here showing up of swords. Um, yeah, because we have the king, the queen, the knight. And there's a lot of, there is some pain that is associated with that. I feel like this person, um, what this seems to be moving towards is a lot of determinism, a lot of clarity, a lot of action, but there's also pain attached to that for some reason. It's like seeing some kind of a truth here. Seeing some kind of a truth is creating is creating pain, but it's that truth and it's that pain that will actually make this person more um, determined. And I do feel like this truth might even, it, for some of you, it is going to be a truth that they're seeing about you. For others, it's going to be a truth that they're seeing or finding out about somebody else. Either way, this truth is causing some pain and that pain is driving them forward. I actually now want to clarify this Three of Cups, which is in your energy. Let's, let's see that. All 
right, we have the Five of Cups and we have the Five of Pentacles. All right, two different messages here. I feel like um, a very specific message is that some of you might actually be... Um, Some of you might actually be entertaining other other connections, even though you feel like this is where you want to be with this with this person here that we've been talking about. You might be kind of open, or you maybe you're just being very, very social, but at the same time, I feel like that's just a cover-up. That's just a cover-up because deep down you're feeling a sense of loss. You're feeling um, like you miss this person, that this is the one you want to be with. And it's more of like just trying to get yourself to... Um, to enjoy your life. And then for others of you, this is just what I said in the beginning, wanting things to go back to a happier time with this person, the way things used to be. And because it doesn't feel like that's the case at the moment, it's um, creating a lot of grief for you, a sense of loss. Um, so Either way, especially if the first message resonated with you, that could be what is causing the pain for this other person. Finding, just kind of, you know, seeing you being more social, maybe maybe even flirting. Not, It's not going to be for all of you, as I said, all right? That's just for a specific group. But either way, this person is feeling some pain about a truth that they are seeing or finding out about. So let's see the Four of Swords for the potential outcome. Oh, okay. So we have the Knight of Wands, Strength, and the Star. Leo and Aquarius energy here showing up. Um, there's healing. I feel like this healing is for this connection, all right? Because we also have the Star... Um, together with that four of swords and strength and the knight of wands. So there is movement here. There is movement that is happening when it comes to healing this connection and whatever it is that may have happened between the two of you. Yes, it might be something that does require some strength and I feel like like you're both feeling stronger here. All right, there were major lessons to be learned through this and that, like I said, this person, you know, um, having to get out of their head about something, not overanalyzing it, not making it a bigger deal than what it was. That too is taking strength. And it's moving this connection towards a wish fulfillment or towards just healing. So whatever that, that would be for, for each of you. Okay, so Sagittarius. If this resonated, let's get the final message for you. And we have Gates of Triumph. Success expands in your life. So the gates are opening, basically. The Gates of Triumph. So I don't know what it is that you have struggled with here, what it is that you have been doing. Um, I feel like you've been, like I said, doubting yourself. All right, know that success is expanding in your life. So those are your messages, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching and much love.